This video shows you how to use limitations in a bar chart. We will look at using limitations in three different bar charts, a chart with a single dimension, a chart with two dimensions, and a chart with two measures. First, we will create a bar chart that shows the sum of sales for customers. Next, in the limitation, we select relative value and select greater than or equal to. Now, insert a percentage value, for example, 3%. By doing this, all customers with a sum of sales that is equal to or greater than 3% of the total sum of sales will be displayed. Then, uncheck Show Others to hide the Others bar. If you create a bar chart that has one measure, for example, the sum of sales, and two dimensions, for example, cities and customers, you can define limitations for both dimensions. For example, you can set the city limitation to a fixed number. In this case, we limit results to just the top five cities. Next, you can set up the limitation of the second dimension. We'll set up the limitation to show the top three customers. Next, we'll position the legend to the bottom in order to display all the fields. Finally, uncheck Show Others to hide the Others bar. Now, our bar chart displays the top five cities and for each country, the top three customers. The options are different if your bar chart contains one dimension and two measures. For example, let's make a bar chart that uses the sum of sales and the sum of margin for the dimension city. In the appearance section, we'll choose to show the bar as stacked. Next, we'll add an exact value for the limitation. We'll choose to only show the cities that have a sum of sales greater than 300,000. Finally, uncheck Show Others to hide the Others bar. As you can see, the limitation is calculated on the sales measure. Limitations are calculated against the first measure listed under the Measure tab. If you switch the position of your two measures, the value will be calculated on the sum of margin instead of sales. As you can see, the chart is now empty because there is no data available. Let's change the value to something else. We'll change the value to 100,000. Now the chart displays the cities that have a margin greater than 100,000. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.